Hello Warfighters, War is Hell. Welcome to the second part of the mission where we're invading Lebanon for our deployment with the 43rd Marine Expeditionary Unit. What's happened is Hezbollah has taken control of the government and now has control of the Lebanese Armed Forces as well as their paramilitary wing, the Jihad Council. So in the previous mission, in an amphibious assault, we actually stormed this airfield. Uh, we've taken out everybody and so we brought in some air assets to transfer, uh, transport us into... Uh, or onto the mainland of Lebanon. There's a bridge that we think will be important for us to hold as the Lebanese armed forces are going to move in to try and counterattack uh, us as we try to secure a beachhead for the rest of the coalition forces to come onto Lebanon. So that's where we're heading right now. Uh, if you didn't get a chance to watch the first part, I definitely recommend that you do. Or if you're a patron of mine, uh, on my Patreon page, I've actually uploaded this uh, mission in full. So that way, anybody who donates more than uh, a dollar can go ahead and have full access uh, to the videos that I'm going to start uploading up there as well for you guys to be able to watch. Because I know this is something that uh, a lot of people want to see these in full. So definitely go check out the Patreon page if you do want to see the entirety of this mission. Also consider subscribing though to see more of these types of missions and hit the like button if you are enjoying what you're seeing right here. So we're going to taxi off the runway here and move or fly to uh, a position that's pretty close to where the bridge is. We believe that it is heavily defended, which is why we're not going to be dropped necessarily right on top of uh, of that bridge. But we'll be pretty close by. It's kind of nice having the Osprey and everything like that here too, because there's obviously a lot of Marines you can fit into this. And so once we drop, we should have a majority of our forces right there. Now, our team's done a pretty good job. Uh, we've actually held together pretty well through some of the most difficult parts of this mission where we were in the amphibious assault. So now we're going to be transitioning, of course, to a more defensive type of fighting here as soon as we go ahead and take the bridge, I should say. Uh, and so instances that we fought together haven't had a problem with anything like this. So I'm feeling pretty confident that we're going to rock out here. Now, I've been dropped off with everybody else. Uh, one of the things that I've spotted actually up ahead is a couple bunkers that would be near the position of the bridge. So that tells me that, yes, this is heavily defended. Uh, now, it's just a little bit off to the left here, but it looks like we're going to be trying to hit them from the flank. See some fire and everything up ahead. Some yellow smoke that's coming from the enemy. We've got eyes on the bridge here, too. So we could be coming in contact with uh, the enemy here at any moment. But since it looks like we've got 2nd Platoon who's engaging the main parts of the compound, that allows us to be able to slip up a little closer. Now, I have a problem here, which you're probably wondering why I'm doing so much commentary right now. Uh, my team speak crashes, and I try actually for quite a while to get it back up, uh, but it doesn't come back up at all. So I'm going to have to try and do this without any comms. So I've been out for the mission a little bit, just trying to get uh, my TeamSpeak working. The reason why it's frozen right here is again, I'm in TeamSpeak right now trying to get things working. But at the very least, I have uh, in-game sound, which I can utilize to try and figure out some things that are going on. Uh, and of course, you know, I've got my eyes too. You know, there's smoke up ahead, which tells me that's where uh, my guys are at. I can see some tracer fire coming off from the right so I might try and see what that is oh blue smoke never mind now that it's blue smoke I know that that's where the rest of my guys are we of course use smoke to communicate with each other uh, even though you know we've got radios so blue is always going to mark where uh, friendly positions are at okay so here's Rapone so since I know I've got Rapone here I might have some more of my guys in here as well and it looks like yeah we've got a good group in here okay so I'm just gonna stick with these guys as we we move up some compounds are across the river here purple smoke should indicate a medevac but I'm wondering though if we've just used up all of our smokes we're just scrambling to use whatever we can to mask our movements forward oh, I think we've got somebody maybe in the top of that yes we do Okay, Rapone, please don't step in front of me. I'm going to try and hit this guy through the brush. 
Okay, I think he's down now. Okay, we've got to keep moving. There's a bunker off to the right. I don't know if there is anybody in that. Well, it looks like we do. Try and spray him with this fire. He's down. And I don't know if we've got anybody in that bunker, but I'm going to engage them. Engage that bunker. Hopefully hit somebody. Oh, we've got a few guys that are down there in the open. Now, the Lebanese Armed Forces use M81 camo. Uh, so it is, or it can be difficult for us to uh, identify who's friendly and who's not just because uh, their uniforms are a little bit different. But it's not like in some of the other missions or other deployments where, you know, you might be going up against Taliban or something like that where there's an obvious difference between what they wear and what you wear. But with M81, I mean, the color is somewhat similar. So you have to spend more time positively uh, IDing your targets. Don't want to hit friendlies right here. So things have gotten a little quieter. Pushing up here with Rapone and Stutta. We probably got low right behind me here too. Okay, so we've reached this first compound. It looks like we're going to have some guys going on the inside trying to clear the bunker. What I'm going to do is try and set up here. For guys like this, I think scrambling is going to be a great idea. All right, he's dropped. Nice. Rapone probably got the guy in that bunker right there with that one shot. Okay, so things are pretty quiet now. Oh, that's a civilian. All right, try and move in to this compound here as well with everybody else. I mean, if I don't have good comms, at the very least, I can get into a decent defensive position and kind of hold out here. I don't want to necessarily get to the point where, like, I'm up in the tower, though. Because uh, if I am up in the tower, I may be able to have some good eyes, but I can't communicate it out. So in that case, it would be better to have somebody else who can communicate to everybody else spotting up there, but... You know, AR obviously comes in handy, as you've seen right here, taking out a few guys as we move up. The civilian, though, I got to be careful about him, though. We don't know necessarily how the uh, civilian population feels about us being here on Lebanon, because with Hezbollah throwing the de uh, overthrowing the democratically elected government, that is something that the civilians might support us trying to reinstate that uh, elected government. But at the same time, you can imagine there's probably a lot of people who don't like us being here. Well, it looks like there's might have been somebody at the base of one of those towers up there. So let me get into a better position. Oh, now I can't see where that guy was. Okay, I lost him. He might have been taken out already. I mean, it was it took me a long time to reposition myself. Okay, just looking around now, seeing if there's any targets that I can help engage or suppress. I think there is some fire coming my way. I see those leaves in the tree above me falling. There could be somebody back there. All right. Well, time to stick with everybody else. I've got Luna up here and the rest of the team. Sounds like there might be some fire coming from this town, too. See, this is why I like wearing my headsets whenever I play, just because I've got the advantage of sound, at least. Yeah, there he is. All right, he's down, but he got a shot on me here, so I'm going to have to patch up my head before I can move on. Well, if we've got... Ah, uh, dang it. I accidentally clicked out of it too quickly. I mean, if we've got one guy in that town engaging us, there's a strong possibility we've got some more uh, hostiles inside of that town. Go elastic bandage just to try and reduce the chance of that wound opening up. 
Yeah, somebody's taking some more pot shots at us. I'm still in pain, but time to get back in the fight. Oh, I think that guy just got back up. Okay, he's down. Oh, so I think the guy that I just took out was Hezbollah Jihad Council. And then these guys are obviously Lebanese Armed Forces. Gosh, that guy is not going down at all. There we go. That guy just popped up, and he's back down. Okay, time to keep an eye on this town maybe a little bit more. I mean, that's something that I think I could do uh, here without the comms. Looks like we've got other guys opening up here too. I've got to reload, but we've got another AR for sure. I mean, this would be one of those situations where it would be nice to have like the talking guns going or something like that. Okay, if they're getting that, I mean, they're going to be able to lock this down pretty quickly. Remember, our objective is to hold this bridge because we anticipate a counterattack coming. So I don't want to be so focused on that town that I'm neglecting the main road. We might actually have to push up to that bridge here, too. I think we're going to get some guys across at some point. If uh, I remember, that's what the plane called for. But we're holding here. I might check in a little bit to see if I can get back on team speak. Because this is pretty rough going without any comms or anything like that. I'm just going to follow Stutta and Luna. Stutta, of course, is my team leader. Luna, my squad leader. Just letting them know that team speak's still not working here. Nope, head opened up. There we go. Bleeding stopped. I could go ahead. Yeah, everything else looks good. Okay, so it looks like we're all bunched up right here. So I bet there's a discussion going on about what we're going to be doing next. No signs of anybody else, too. Yep, here goes everybody. Okay, so it looks like we've got one team going to check that other bunker. Still got some fire on that bunker. We're moving up here towards the bridge. Okay, so we're going to occupy uh, this position here looking down the road. So since they've got that, I want to make sure nobody starts sprinting over this bridge or anything too. I thought I saw some movement over here. Remember, we saw some tracers at least. So I don't know what's on the other side. If that's... Oh, we've got some red smoke up there, which would tell me if it's thrown by us, that's where we've got some hostiles. Ooh, we've got some rockets coming in. Oh! There we go. Friendly air support. Had me freaked out. Thank you, Luna. That actually worked. Him firing on the ground was him getting my attention and then firing in that direction told me to look that way. Okay, so I found out later what was happening right here is uh, cats have been called actually on the bridge. And so we had to fall back so we wouldn't be caught in the fire. So that one worked. I can imagine, though, if I didn't do anything, they would be like, ah, just screw it. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. Okay, so try and see what I can do to kind of be helpful around here. So I know I mentioned probably not going into the tower, but I think I will. Oh, we got Matt up here. So yeah, with an officer up here, you definitely got somebody who's going to be able to communicate things. So at the very least, be able to fire if I spot anybody. Again, still focused on this uh, other side of the bridge because... There were some engagements going on. But I've got my team speak back. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it right here. And I'll be back in a little bit. Enemy 
contact west across the river. Hey guys, if you're wounded, run to the castle back. Got movement in the trees to the northeast. It looks like it may be a fire team. Roger. Yellow smoke bearing three zero my think there was still one more up. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, he's behind that rock. Is he prone? I'm moving over to the helo when I need to. Okay, guys, I need you to spout. I need a hard defensive perimeter. Uh, expect a counterattack. I want a 
our positions. I want somebody up this tower washing out. I'll get up there. I appreciate that. Uh, low. Yeah, keep opening up. So I continue to hold up here in the tower while the rest of the wounded get loaded onto the chopper and get medevaced out. Now for us, this counterattack actually never materializes, which made me kind of sad because at one point we had three ARs up in this tower and Tex, one of the ARs, uh, affectionately called this the Tower of Hate and it would have been awesome to see the Tower of Hate go active and try and eliminate everybody. Obviously that is a huge danger too, having your ARs in one tower because one RPG could eliminate all of your ARs, but that would have been absolutely sweet to see and hear all of us like just going off. But uh, maybe another mission we'll see something like that happen. So fortunately for us, we're able to secure a beachhead on Lebanon, which will allow the rest of the coalition forces to come on. I really feel like I didn't do too bad either, considering for a majority of this uh, part of the mission, I didn't have my team speak and I was just able to kind of gun some stuff down and uh, stick with everybody. So I, I didn't get lost at the very least, so that's not that bad at all. But anyway, I don't think anything like that happens again. There's a couple more times, I think, in the future where TeamSpeak crashes for me, but that's it. Uh, nothing for such a prolonged amount of time. But I appreciate you guys watching this. I really do. More of the 43rd, of course, to come later on. So again, hit that like button if you enjoy what you saw. Subscribe for more of this type of content. And then also consider donating to the Patreon to help out the channel and support what we do here. So thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. War is hell. You don't have to worry because warfighters, I've got your six.